recording. Recording. And we have pasta. I'm very excited for all the carbs. This video is sponsored <laughs> by Milano's <laughs> Pizza, Pasta, and Catering. Except the pasta. Hello, what life happens. Okay. Hey guys, it's Alicia, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Jenna. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have pasta. We will be eating while we film these videos. Just a 411 for Because we're dying. We're dying, and also we're in a hotel, so there's noise. So we are in Maryland for CFRR, which is Christian Fiction's Reader's Retreat, if you did not know. Um, <laughs> we roomed together and then we decided we were gonna stay a couple days and sightsee. So we is together and we mm. thought, why not film while we're together? Hello, we're both awesome. And you turn the camera on to awesome people and the world doesn't know what to do with itself. <gasps> so. An awesome person who's stuffing her face with pasta. <laughs> You're not afraid to eat mm -hmm. carbs on camera. On no. camera. I thought it'd be very fun to do something called the newly French game. If I Yay! was really good at editing, I'd put like the Woo! Woo! The newly French game! But I'm not good at that, so just. There's a napkin we can use to like clean these off. Yay! I just realized we didn't have we any. We didn't have any of that. We're really not prepared for all of this. This was a very spur of the moment idea, so yes, explain. We got these little dry erase paper magnet things in our goodie bags from CFRR and I thought it'd be super super fun to do the newly friend game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I might kill her before we have a chance to do the video. <laughs> but just a 411, Jenna tried to murder me <laughs> at our last hotel. <laughs> she wanted me dead. Abby can totally attest to this fact. She and so can Don Crandall, no, and so can no. Abby Hart's sister, and everybody can attest to the fact no. that she wanted me to be injured. Injured, not dead. <laughs> Is yours good? <laughs> no, I kind of just want to eat. Because we've like, just been living off of like CFRR snacks. I'm allergic to fruit, and like all the CFRR snacks were fruit related. It was so sad. I need to move this. <laughs> move it that way so you don't kill me. <laughs> Major anticipation. <laughs> okay, um, hmm. these are very weird. And we answer about each other. Like, if you don't know what the newlywed game is. You should is, probably explain it. You do that one. Okay, it. so like in the newlywed game, it's usually like a husband and a wife, and there's a bunch of trivia questions, and like you ask the husband, what is your wife's biggest pet peeve? And she writes down her real answer, and the husband writes down his best, and they flip them over, and then they say what their answers were, and if their answers were the same, then they really know each other, and if their answers were different, then they don't know each other at all. Okay, okay. My biggest book pet peeve. Don't tell Hold me. Hold on, but like, I should have thought this. Story. <laughs> I mean, like, author pet peeve, this book is a cover pet peeve. So, you want to turn yours first? Alright, I put books that don't match, and then in parentheses, <laughs> Melanie Dickerson. <laughs> so we just had this conversation, I said when a series book changes yeah. in the middle of a series. I was specifically, specifically thinking, yeah. thinking about Melanie Dickerson. We were talking about this last night, and if you don't know, which I don't understand why you wouldn't know. Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> artichokes and spinach in it. Pasta bray. Oh, nom nom nom. <laughs> that seems I have no plans to get a boyfriend from the internet. <laughs> okay, if I could like 
go into a book like enter the universe of a book which book would i like choose to like go to or like characters book that i would want to like Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't know, Jenna is our biblical fiction lover. Earlier I said Pharaoh's Daughter by Misu Andrews. Oh, you are so close. <laughs> I said Counted with the Stars by Connell. Oh, that said. was another one up there. Okay. This is not book related. This is like friend person related. What was your first impression of me? Like social media. What was <laughs> social media wise? Okay. And we've already had fun, like we've already talked about this, but this will be fun for you to air out on camera. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. <clears throat> I put that I was 30 years old and way too good at my job. So again, I was thinking you were sweet, mm -hmm. but competition. competition. <laughs> True. So the thing is, Jen and I met through Instagram. Yes. And she messaged me on Instagram because I had started my YouTube channel before her and she was like asking for tips and she like sends me this message but the thing is that was right I just didn't write that so I get a point yes yeah, so you okay. get a point because that was definitely right she get and I was just excited like I was like oh look another like youtuber yay but then I started thinking about I'm like but like Competition. <laughs> Sweet. Well, and the thing is, but she's competition. I felt the same way, <laughs> but I messaged her because you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, Instagram. So you're wrong. <laughs> like, but it's probably YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the point. Uh, I'm winning. I'm winning the newly friend game. Um, yeah, I put YouTube. That's like bringing like my childhood passions together with like what I do now. So my answer is YouTube. Plus, I feel like I'm bad at Instagram. I was just about to say, we just like literally yeah. before we started the camera, we were, yeah. But I promise I do kind of sort of know her, guys. I'm just. Yeah. Now it's your turn to come up with a question. Oh. And my <laughs> turn to eat pasta. What is my least favorite genre? I don't know you at all. I mean, how much I dislike this genre. This is probably really random. I don't even think this exists. I don't know. I put science fiction. It does, but no, I actually enjoy that. <laughs> Amish. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I know something bad about me. Sometimes I forget that Amish is a genre. So do I. Okay, so I have a question, and it's really specific and hard. Again. Okay. But I feel like you might know it, but it's more writing related than reading related. Oh, by the way, she's an author. I am, thank you. Um, but I'm not published yet, so stop, don't comment and like, I want books, because you're not getting any. Also because I already do that mm -hmm. enough and it annoys her and our friend Audrey because I am that crazy mm -hmm. reader who's like, when's your book coming out, when's your book coming out, when's your book coming out, when do I get chapters, when's your book coming out? What is my go-to writing snack? I know this. Do you? Yep. Are you sure? I better. Not beverage. Nope. Snack. I am like 99% sure okay, I know what this go is. go ahead. Barbecue chips. Yes! <laughs> barbecue chips! Barbecue chips. I know this because of her Instagram lives. If you're not following Jen on Instagram, you should follow her on Instagram and YouTube and all it's the things. It's at Jenna Van Mauer. Literally just at Jenna Van Mauer. It's my name. name. I'm everywhere under my name. Time in particular that I remember, and it stuck out that this is your go-to snack, is that your husband had the bag and he finished them off and you were very upset and like piper their dog by the way adorable adorable was so confused because there was just like creepy and you were like you ate all my chips and yeah. it was just a very i <laughs> have an unhealthy obsession with barbecue shit fun fact my first word that i could read was lays <laughs> I love that fun fact. Yeah, that's like, that's how much of a barbecue chip fan I am. All right, so I'm gonna steal that. Oh no. My thing is, I am not, I don't snack a whole lot while I read, but if I do, what is my go-to reading snack? See, I'm trying to think, cause like, it could be a snacky snack food, but also I remember when we, me and her and Audrey, our other friend, our other friend, our other friend. Oh, I'm friend. Um, 
did like a FaceTime where we marathoned Fuller House when it came out. Oh, that was like a whole different level of snack. Yeah, <laughs> and you had a bunch of snacks with you, and I'm like, wow, it could be one of those, but that was also an event of snacks. <laughs> Not Swiss cheese. <laughs> I like guess now it's my turn. I said, you consider yourself fast, but not compared to others. That is true. I'll give you a half a point <laughs> because I put fast, but only with biblical fiction. Like other books, it takes me a really long time to get into, but if it's a biblical fiction book, I can read it in like two hours. Because well, that's, that's, I was thinking of her A Fire and Lions reading blog. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm going to leave it in the description because that book is amazing and her video is amazing. It's Thank also you. great. But I remember her saying, like, she just wanted to read it. We were supposed to buddy read it, but life happened and I wasn't able to. Um, but I was texting you. Yeah, she was texting me the whole like we were talking about it. And she even says in a video, she was like, I really wish we weren't buddy reading this because I just want to like read it all. Yeah. So, by the way, we hadn't quite figured out that I wasn't buddy reading it with her at the time. <laughs> well, mugs. Mugs. <laughs> Oh, is it my turn? Okay. Yeah, ask me a question, Alicia. Okay. So if I hadn't ended up pursuing, like, blogging and writing, what would I have been pursuing? <laughs> I, just, I just keep hearing in my head, I'm going back to fashion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not helping me. No one's going to know what that's from. Except Abby. Yeah. Abby and Dawn, they're going to be like, I'm going, back, I'm to going back to fashion. If you get that reference, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Alicia's channel for more content like this. <laughs> Any day now, Alicia. But, <clears throat> we just talked about this in the hotel lobby. But it wouldn't be filmed because you had given up life. I'm so mad at myself because I know the answer. Fun story, she was telling us all about how she stays and watches the, she watches the credits at the end of movies. And it like came of a love, one for film, and two of the fact like she just wanted to do different things than just film. Yeah, so I went to film school and I had like a really bad experience and it made me like want to give up on the arts. And I was just like, that's it. Arts are arts are dumb. The arts, the creative industry is bad. I'm walking away and I'm never going to do anything creative again. Like, I'm going to get a business degree or something boring. And I'm never going to be creative again because the industry is just too terrible. So I decided to go into writing because there's no rejection in that. I'm not going to be creative anymore. I'm going to be boring and that's going to be what I'm going to do. And then I ended up being writer because I can't not be creative but for some reason I thought writing I'd face less rejection than film. <laughs> oh it's just starting and she hasn't even finished. Mm -hmm. and she hasn't published a book yet. Yep. All right. That's my question. You have to think of something. Think of something. Okay. <laughs> what is my favorite trope? And this one's gonna, like, I have a lot of them. Oh no, and I've watched your tropes video too. But the thing is, that's not even fair, because I think I only did like three. Yeah. And like, I did not even touch. But it's been so long since I've watched it. Mm -hmm. And this is one that's like popping to my head. Oh my gosh. It could be anything. Really she good. reads everything. Also, I'm pretty sure I spelled that name, that word wrong. Please forgive me. Also, the next word could be. So it's words you would misspell. Yes. Oh, I what really would spell Alicia wrong. I can't spell wrong? All of the words. I'm just going to say it because one, I, I really can't spell. And I know I don't have the answer, so I'm just going to put down like the only trope I can think of right now, which I know is not the answer. Because <laughs> obviously these words are easy to spell. Hate to love. That's one of my likes. Um, I don't have anything in mind because my marker stopped working and I can't spell. Yeah. Uh, marriage of convenience is the one uh, that like, marriage of convenience and mail order brides. I almost put mail order bride. I love both of those terms. So you can't spell so... marriage or convenience. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, right, no, it's like, no, I can spell convenience. I can't spell marriage or of. <laughs> It's just going to be like a 20 minute video of <laughs> eating. Alright. Uh.